How you doing, mate? I've calmed down just a bit. It's the perfect uh, substitutes appearance. A brace, one gets his level, one gets his points. Could you believe in the first instance that we were, we were a goal down? No. Um, I think going down to 10 men uh, kind of killed the game for us a wee bit. In our part, we stopped playing. Um, Queen's part dominated possession. Um, found ourselves behind with, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes to go. Um, and I didn't think I didn't think we had much possession. I think Queen's Park probably deserved it. Uh, we were caught off guard with a wee bit of wake up call, and um, it's not often you win and get a wake up call. So I think we need to take it on the chin and, and uh, learn from learn from that. And we can be having no possession with or little possession with it against ten men. But um, you know, as we said, the way that the bound boys bounce back, the character is unbelievable, and it just shows you the, the squad that we've got: myself, Hammer, Dylan Easton, Liam Dick coming off the bench. <coughs> it shows you how good the squad is. So. Um, the gaffer keeps saying it's just a squad game. You know, everybody wants to start because everybody wants to play every minute, and you know that's football. Some some people have to get left out. I'm going to come back to the squad and the personality that was shown here, but uh -huh. you know I'll get thrown out of the club journalist union if I don't start by saying, <laughs> "Tell me about the goals." Uh, first goal is particularly interesting. It's a header, uh -huh. and um, <laughs> a wee bit of a, a vision through the week that that was going to come your way. Aye, uh, I, um, I woke up Thursday morning and just had a bit of stiff neck, had a spasm in my neck, just face sleeping awkwardly. Um, during the night, so I managed to train Thursday, Friday, but I went and seen a um, chiropractor on thir uh, Friday afternoon. Uh, Ian, Williams, uh, Ian Williams, an old player here, shed, um, and he sorted me out and he texted me this morning on the way through saying, uh, "What's the chance of you coming on and scoring a header?" So um, it was fate; it was meant to be. So um, I'm just trying to get back on the score sheet. I just want to play football, whether that's for the start or coming on as a substitute. I just want to play football and score goals. So I'm trying to get back on the score sheet. Try and talk us through. Uh, this is a question I think there isn't an answer because it's just probably raw emotion. But uh -huh. what's it like to score a winner so late on in a game? You know, not quite the final <sighs> kick of the ball, but mm -hmm. it's one of them that when the ball hits the net, it's fans are looking at each other like, "What actually happened there?" And we have to watch it back <laughs> again to see so actually what happened. <laughs> Tell us about it. It's, 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 it's like as you say, it's just like a fan, it's just like a blur. Um, it just happened. Stuff happened so quickly. Um, it wasn't until after the goal I was trying to think who passed me the ball to go and thank them. Um, once I stopped celebrating, I, the emotions had kind of calmed down a wee bit. I realised that it was Smithy, and uh, you know it was a terrific goal he scored in the first goal as well. You know and it, the feeling is just unbelievable. There's no feeling like it, and you know just seeing the fans, fans supporters like that and celebrate like that, it's, it's amazing. It's a flick on from Watson. Smith gets round the back, uh -huh. cuts it back, and you kind of drill uh -huh. it. Instinct that just puts the ball there, or, or is there a voice in your head screaming, "Keep it down, hit the target"? Any of that nonsense? I'm just trying to keep it down. I um, as the ball's coming into me as a striker, I, I'm just trying to change the speed of the ball. So the ball gets passed into me, I'm just trying to guide it. If the ball's slow to me, you try and put some pace on it. That's kind of my my tip as a striker, just to change the speed of the ball. And you know, my face quite fired it quite in, so I'm just trying to guide it and lift it over the goal. And once I hit the roof in it, I'm just just delighted. Um, and there's, as I said, there's no feeling like it, especially to come on and score two and the winner. Um, it's, it's amazing. Let's look at your goal scoring record. I know it's Saturday night, and I know it's a Saturday <laughs> night when you've scored because my phone pings and says, "So where am I now in the score chart?" <laughs> We've got a wee bit of a kind of running theme of a target for this season. Yeah. But uh, two goals today. Um, the goal against Morton that takes you up to seventy-five goals for Wraith Rovers. It's not bad. It's not bad, is it? Two hundred and thirty appearances or something, roughly, something like that. Now level twenty-second in the club's entire history. Uh, we're an absolute legend of the, of the club's pantheon. Uh, you know, all the years that have gone by, Johnny Urquhart. But we've got targets. One more goal will get you twenty-one. Francis mm -hmm. Joyner we'll let the cat out of the bag that we want to see you top 20 top don't we 20 today, my Bomber aye. Harris is sitting in 83 so 8 goals um, a target aye so I'm on 3 now that's my aim for the season to try and get in the top 20 yep um, so, so another 8 goals why not why not but you do hold one record already sounds better when you see it yeah it's a pretty significant one what's that I've takes you about 35 times club record goal scorer this century is oh. that, are you just blasé about that? So is that I just am. one of these things I that happen? I forgot about that, <laughs> That's no bad either, eh? I'd have a banner that's on that. Kind would be, kind of that would be spray painted outside decent, my house. That's decent, actually. This century, that's decent. I've, that's, that's not, I've, not, I've registered that. Are you sure you told me that before? Absolutely. Aye. I've seen you about four times. I'm Apologies. going to proof it after this. <laughs> <laughs> How does it make you feel, though? That's brilliant. That's, you know, it's what you dream as a kid. When I, when I was growing up as a kid, I just wanted to play football and score goals. And to be in the top scorer of this century is just an honour. Talk to me about um, the team game. Um, uh -huh. we, we, we have a wee bit more a kind of relaxed conversation than the normal post match because we've all uh -huh. known each other for so long. Uh -huh. We've kind of, I guess, as a TV crew, we've kind of grown up alongside yourself uh -huh. and you know followed your career every step of the way. Yeah. I, I love this line about um, it, you say the right things. It's a squad game. 
Mm -hmm. You know, we've all got to contribute. And then I see your wee face when you're walking to the... the, ah, the, 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 the you're I'm on raging. the <laughs> And you've got a petted lip and you're raging. Aye. Uh, is there a marker here that actually just says, that's what I can do? That's all I can do. I, you know, I just, I just want to come on, score goals, play football. And, um, you know, don't get me wrong, I like to play football. I don't know why so much at the side. If any player that tells you why so much at the side, they're lying. You know, I, when, I, when I never played last week against Dunfermline, one of the biggest games in... The biggest game that you can play for Ray Rovers and I was sitting on the side watching this. It's hard to take over through my history against Dunfermline. I want to play. I want to score goals, especially against Dunfermline. You know, but the, the manager picked his team and ultimately got it right. It was what the one one now. So he's got it right today. Aye, uh, he got it right today, bringing me on. So you know, that's all I can do: is set a marker and come on and score goals. And as I said, if I'll get to give my best and score goals for this club, whether it's for the starter coming on as a sub. Tell me about the, the squad. Tell me about mm -hmm. the guys that you're training with. You're a, you're a guy that's hugely liked uh, amongst the, the, the training uh -huh. group uh, across the many years that you've been here. Mm -hmm. you're, you're a bit of character that likes to buzz it about. You're no somebody that carries the world on your, your shoulders. Uh -huh. From the semi-outside and the kind of buzz in the street, is it we seem to kind of see that there's a connectedness here that, that you don't always get? I think so. The boys get on so well in that change room. I um, think you can see that. You know, Big Kev's coming up to me at the end saying, I'll eat a drink tomorrow, the team do it. So, um, you know, we get on, everybody gets on so well. It's a great team unit. We, we work for each other. Whether boys are getting left out, boys are coming on. Um, we're a re real close in that bunch. Um, and I think you can see that with the celebrations at the end. Everyone going over the, the main stand, the south stand, celebrating with the fans. And, you know, it's a, it's a great place to be at just now. And a good time for yourself. Well, of course, we'll get the game against uh, Cliftonville. Uh -huh. Next uh, next week earlier the the usual start, but we've got your testimonial brunch on the Sunday. I, I, I think very few, if any, spaces left. Looking forward to it. Aye, um, I'm delighted to get a, a testimonial brunch uh, September the tenth um, after the Clifton Hill game uh, up at the Dean Park Hotel. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, see a lot of people there. Um, I think there's one table left. Maybe I've had the cancellation. So if anybody's looking for a few tickets, there. There's few, a few left. We've got a, a whole host of questions set aside waiting for when you manage to kind of nail down uh, an opposition for your testimonial game. Uh -huh. Looking likely to be probably kind of starting next season? Aye, we're hoping maybe this season if we can get an international break, um, depending on the opposition. Um, if not, it'll be early next season. Um, but we're looking for hopefully an international break this this season at some stage. Um, still trying to confirm our opposition. Um, but we're working on it in the background and hopefully we'll have some news soon whether it's a national break or the beginning of the next season. We'll follow the story. Um, a common theme in these interviews is that I like to turn things back to the supporters. Uh -huh. And um, it, we, we say about the raw emotion of the ball hitting the net and that swell of uh, mm -hmm. joy that you hear for, you know, for the south and the main stand. Mm -hmm. Your last to go off the field today, mm -hmm. um, all the skippers marginally in front of you and he's got his uh -huh. arms around you walking towards the tunnel. Uh -huh. The south stand and the main stand stay back mm -hmm. to tell you what they, they, uh -huh. they, they think of you and, and what mark does that leave because that's that's not an ordinary thing. No it's not, um, you know through my whole career the Red fans have been there through thick and thin um, and to repay them with that is brilliant. I'm going to call it an end <laughs> there, I can see the emotions and I can only just say Congratulations Cheers, mate, baby. you're back doing what you need to be doing. It's a pleasure to watch you. Cheers.